And a host of new laws took effect in Kentucky today, all passed during the General Assembly's 2021 session, but not all of the bills had an easy path to the governor's desk. Grace McKenna takes a look at some of the biggest changes coming to the Commonwealth. The laws passed by the General Assembly this session range from everything from illegal dumping violations to time off for adoptive parents to major moves in both elections and education. With a vote and a stroke of a pen, new Kentucky laws bring changes to policing, education and elections. In our last election, they were given three weeks. This law only gives them three days. After COVID-19 upended the 2020 election cycle, House Bill 574 cements three days of early in-person voting before Election Day. Counties can petition for regional voting locations where anyone can vote. Any new voting machines purchased must have a paper trail and ballots have to be counted on election night. Well, I don't think that will be a challenge. We have good, good equipment. It's never really been a challenge. In education, Kentucky students have new options. House Bill 563 allows students to change school districts. It also creates organizations that would fund private school tuition and gives 25 million in tax breaks to those groups. This is about giving families a choice. HB 563 was one of the most controversial of the session, vetoed by Governor Bashir and pushed through by lawmakers. Opponents like the Kentucky Education Association worry now about the impact. KEA President Eddie Campbell saying in part in a statement, the provisions of HB 563 should have never seen the light of day. The voucher tax credit scheme embodied in HB 563 is an unconstitutional use of public money without voter consent. 20 other laws took effect Tuesday, including time off for new adoptive parents, anonymous surrender spaces, revised open records rules, and expanded definitions of police wrongdoing. Kentucky's new education bill is now facing a legal challenge from the Council for Better Education. The case is due back in court for a motions hearing next month. In Louisville, for WHAS 11 News, I'm Grace McKenna.